Not a very good weekend for the box office again. We're going to go over some numbers. Let's start here with Disney. So, Young Woman and the Sea didn't do very well. In fact, I can show you a theater picture here from Eric MMT Weber. And Disney's not even reporting on the box office for this movie, apparently. And you can kind of see why when you look at this image here, nobody showed up to it. And to be fair, I didn't even know it existed until I saw that picture. So I really don't think there was any marketing for this movie. I, like I said, I didn't even know it existed. But when you look it up, this is actually a New York Times review. but They have a subscriber thing on it. But this website, DNYUZ, shared it. And you could see it from the headline. Young Woman in the Sea Review, Fighting Sexism in Rough Waters. I really don't think this brings people to the theaters. And this is also a Daisy Ridley movie, by the way. Uh, Bad for her. I don't have anything against Daisy Ridley. She took the movie. Maybe she liked the story. I don't know. But it's not doing well. And when you see marketing like this, I really do believe that that's a turn off to people now. This kind of tagging doesn't bring anybody to the theaters. In fact, I think people say, oh God, another lecture or something like that, and they don't show up. So this movie, <laughs> no pun intended, dead in the water. And now we check in with Furiosa, who is still causing the media to have a meltdown. We're going to take a look at some of these reactions in a second, but Garfield has now taken number one in the box office. It almost took number one in the box office last week over Furiosa, which really would have been embarrassing. Garfield is being put next to Furiosa when talking about how bad the box office is, but there's a big difference between Furiosa and Garfield. Garfield's already made its, well, making its money back. It didn't have a huge budget. Furiosa had a pretty big budget, and it's not going to make the money back. It had like almost a $200 million budget. I, I think it was like 162 something like that, but that's not including marketing and a couple of other things. So it's not going to make its money back. If anything, this is pretty much the final nail in the coffin for it because, like I've said before, Furiosa has good word of mouth. People like it. I just think nobody wants to see it. Why that is, I don't know. Maybe because the first one, Fury Road, didn't really blow the doors off of anything either. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm sorry. I think an old man Mad Max movie would have done better. Like, if you could have brought uh, Mel Gibson back, did an old man Mad Max movie, that movie probably would have made a lot of money. Hell, maybe even just a movie with Tom Holland, or not Tom Holland, Tom Hardy, sorry. A movie with Tom Hardy from Fury Road as the actual star, I think, would have done a lot better. It's a Mad Max franchise. People want to see Mad Max, but, you know, you say that, you're a sexist. But like I said, I've heard great things about Furiosa. I just don't have any interest in watching it. I didn't really like Fury Road, and I'm probably not the only one. You did a Fury Road movie like nine years after the original in a time where it's, well, the era of the girl boss and people are tired of girl bosses. And I'm not saying that she is a girl boss, but like with that New York Times article that said that that movie was fighting sexism, the Furiosa marketing made it look like it was a girl boss movie. And after 15 or so, the Marvels, Nobody wants to see that shit anymore. So this movie is a victim of its own marketing. I do believe that. The marketing for this movie hurt it. They need to figure out how to market movies without being so damn cringy. They think that that shit pulls people in. It doesn't. So Garfield, now the number one movie, pushing Furiosa down. And they can't quite figure it out. Now they're blaming Fallout. The Amazon TV show 
is now a factor to why this movie failed because that show was a little bit happier. <laughs> totally different, totally different kind of groups there, I think, with appeal. Also, Fallout's a TV show. You don't have to go anywhere to watch it. You can watch it at home. Furiosa, you have to actually go to the movie theaters for. Uh, so there's actually some interesting numbers in this uh, in this article. Salon, never forget Salon, defends the nastiest of people. I'm talking about cheese pizza, cheese pizza lovers, which is why this uh, is probably like this because they're stupid comparing a TV show to a movie. But there was this in here. Check it out. Once again, women didn't show up to this movie. A Hollywood reporter talked about the opening weekend gender split, I guess. Uh, this is from post-track data. Uh, 71% of the audience for Furiosa was male, 29% female. Only 21% of the audience was part of the key 18 to 24 age group. And that's apparently the most frequent movie-going audience. So, once again, stop trying to make these, these kinds of movies and aim them at women, which is what the marketing was doing by calling her a girl boss. Uh, I, I think you should have it figured out by now that women don't want girl boss action movies. And once again, I'm going to clarify, I'm not calling Furiosa a girl boss, but the marketing made it look like she was. Barbie. That's the kind of movie women want to see. Sorry. I mean, they proved it by actually going to see it. <laughs> they don't go see this. They didn't go see other movies like the Marvels or any of these Marvel shows and movies. They don't watch that shit either. They want to see Barbie. Like, oh, I, I don't understand catering to different, different sexes. Men like what they like. Women like what they want. They like different things. I don't really get why this is such a big deal and why we can't, in fact, celebrate the differences between men and women. You know, we used to be able to go see movies like Furiosa all the time, and they would do well, like uh, Kill Bill 1 and 2, two of my favorite movies. I love those movies. They didn't market that movie as she, she, that Beatrice Kiddo was a girl boss. I, to be honest, I don't remember the marketing for the movie. Uh, but... You, my point is you used to be able to make a movie like that and it would do just fine. Uh, but now in today's Hollywood where they advertise on all of these woke points and they think that that's what's going to bring people to the theaters. In fact, they've, if anything, been tripling down on it. It ends up blowing up in their face. And now when you make a movie like a, like a Kill Bill, no one shows up to it. Because they probably assume it's just going to be a piece of shit. How many, for every Furiosa, how many the Marvels or Captain Marvel are there? Well, it's, they, they've destroyed their own effort. Here's one more. They're still blaming you guys, by the way. Man-hating girl boss movie Furiosa failed because people are sick of female protagonists, says Fan. Uh, this is an article that revolves around this quartering tweet where he said people are sick of female protagonists. I don't think they're sick of female protagonists. And I think he would agree with us. They're sick of shitty movies. And the reason that people are raising eyebrows when a movie, when an action movie comes out with a female protagonist is because of movies like the Marvels. The Marvels, if anything, has made the landscape worse for female-led movies. You can thank the Marvels for that. You can thank Kathleen Kennedy for that, too. Uh, they've actually damaged movies like that. So, anyway, you know, I don't really feel bad for Hollywood when they lose money. I do feel bad for the people involved in Furiosa, you know, like the people that worked on the set and stuff like that. It's a bad day for them, but at the end of the day, everybody involved got paid, so they're okay. It just hurts Hollywood and their bullshit that they try to push, and they're going to be forced to actually listen to audiences soon, or they're going to go out of business. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. What are your thoughts? 
Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.